his grandchildren, Shara, Kerry, um, Ash, Ashley, Rebecca, Nenzon, uh, Nen and Lawrence Jr. He's cherished by the Archibalds and Walker family, which consists of his sisters and brothers in London, Sean and Beverly, Franklin, Hubbard, Raymond, Eric, and Cliff, along with his sisters and brothers and brother Jean, Marlin, Shirley, and Raymond, who also live abroad. He is loved by his many nephews, nieces, cousins, and friends. So that's what, why we're here this afternoon to have the atonement of, of the remains of this dear beloved gentleman. You know, God has given us the, the opportunity and the privilege to, to live this life on his earth, this planet earth. And you know, according to scriptures, he has given an allotted time, three school and ten years. But we notice that Mr. Norris made it for three school uh, and, and six years. Right? He died at, at um, he died at three school, sorry, that's 20 years of school, right? So he died at 76, so he lived 60 added years. And the Bible says this is according to God's grace. So I'm going to read the very scripture that they read at the funeral service, and that's John's Gospel, chapter 14, um, chapter 14, 1 through 6. It says, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And whether I go, you know, and the way, ye know. And in verse 27 says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, Neither let it be afraid. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Our Father, we are so thankful to you for this beautiful afternoon that you have given to us. God, as we come together here with the family, relatives and loved ones, relatives and loved ones of Mr. Norris, I pray that you will continue cherishing his loving memories that he has left as a legacy, that they would carry on his mission, his mission of love and, and gift of giving and peace and joy and happiness that he have attained in this world. God, we ask that you help family members to unite together. We know at death that sometimes the war has begun. We pray that there will be no war among them, there will be peace and, and tranquility. And God, at the end of their journey here on earth that they would say truly they have lived a life of love one to another and so we ask that you would continue blessing us give us continued good weather here this afternoon for the short while we're going to be here yeah, we thank you sure. and we're going to praise you in jesus name amen, amen. amen. Um, before we we go to the committal we, we want i want to just read a few portions of scripture that will Promise, bring comfort to you, and so forth. Um, but one, I want to to, re, to remind you that, as I said before in the opening, that God has given you an allotted time, three school and ten years. You know what? You know, I, I pray that as you live your life here on this planet, that you will find somewhere and somehow that you could be at peace with your neighbor. You know, I, I found out that many people we go to church we, we sing hallelujah praise the Lord, we do all these sorts of things and as we leave the, the chapel, the church or whatever you call it um, you, 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 you are not at peace with your neighbor 
This is not a good thing. You know, God is taking root of our life. I believe that. You know, there are people who don't believe that. They believe that God exists and God take, takes note of, of, of what, take note of what we do on a daily basis. But he has everything recorded in his book. And as long as we live on this planet, we should live one for another. Don't live selfish. Don't live for yourself. Live for others. You know, live for your, your friends, your family, your loved ones, you know, even your enemy. Because the Bible says that if your enemy hungry, feed them. Yeah, isn't, that? <laughs> isn't that what the word said? And if they're naked, clothe them, and so on. So, you know, from what I've learned shortly from, in a short period of time from Mr. Norris, is that he was a, a, an entrepreneur, and he, he reached out to many persons, many people. You know, he's within his reach, and so on. All right, now, the, 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 psalmist, the psalmist says, some, uh, Moses writing under the authority of the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, he says, Lord, Thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. And before the mountains were born forth, or ever thou hadst formed the earth and the world, you are from everlasting to everlasting. It says in verse 4, A thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday, when it is past, and as a watch in the night. The latter part, lower part, verse 10, he says, The days um, just before that, he says, For we are consumed by time, by thy anger. We are consumed by thy anger and by the, thy wrath of each other. For thou hast set our iniquities before thee and our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. All our days are past. Away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. But the days of our years are three score and ten years. And if by reason of strength they are four score years, yet is thy strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Yeah? Job was a man that had confidence. And this is what he said in, in Job chapter 19. And I think it was 15. Let, let, let's look at that. Job 19. And let me just look at 15. Um, uh, um, okay, let's go. Yeah, Job 19, right, and verse, verse number 26. And after, after my skin won't destroy thy body, yet in my flesh shall I see God. So, so, so he had confidence and he had assurance. In verse 24, 25 it says, For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. You sure you have assurance with God that if He should call you home, that you know you're going to be with Him? Are you with that assurance today? Well, I'm here to say to us this afternoon that we need to have assurance. Be sure that you have a life in God through Jesus Christ and that you will continue because we need to. For what is going on today in this world, we really need, you know, help on this pilgrim journey that we are on. We need help. You know, when all the odds are against us and so on, here we have COVID. You know, um, a few months ago, we didn't, we didn't know anything called COVID. You know, we, we live our lives just not normal, you know. Um, the general brother here and asked me if we, we should wear masks. You know, he came with his masks. You know, so there's a requirement that we wear masks, you know. And we, we didn't know that at all, did we? Have we known that before? We didn't know that. You know, but um, we are thankful that God really spare, spare us from this one also. It was not only Ivan and, and other, others, but COVID also. And so at this time, I want to play um, Hungry Noah, what? Yes. The song that he requests. Right. Okay, so this is Mr. Uh, this is Greenland. Mr. Mr. Lawrence, Anita. Oh, Greenland. 
Raymond. Oh, brother. Okay, Franklin? No. Raymond. Raymond, okay, right. That's Raymond right here. Okay. Raymond, well, let's see. He has, I think he has Raymond at the other end, too, with uh, with Raymond. Yes, with the brother. Raymond, how about Raymond Eric? Eric. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm And then this, well, this is where this one is. Raymond. Raymond. Yeah. And then Raymond. Uh, okay, so well, nice meeting you. Uh, before I play, you wanna, do you want to say anything? Do you want to? No, I'm not. Sure. All, right. All right, so after you have played, um, if you are <coughs> intrigued that you want to you know, say something, yeah, you may really do so. All right. The song is Hungry Dower. I'll try my best to, to play.
First Corinthians chapter 15. First Corinthians 15. And verse number verse number 52. In a moment, in a twinkle of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. And we shall be changed. For this corruptible must have put on incorruption. And this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thank be to God, which giveth the victory, giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your reward or that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. Morris, your earth and earth your return. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Gentlemen. Go sleep tomorrow.
Okay, the sympathy to all the families, the daily. Sister Sister Eva, London, I really have so much to you. One person do interview on these families to just be able to one like family. one family, gentleman one, one family to interview yes. to speak on the life. There's your brother right there. One person, anybody interested to speak on the life? Yes. You work on it up. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Good afternoon. On behalf of the family of Norris. We all would like to say thanks for everyone for coming out to support us at this time. Thank you. Please, this is fine. We in peace. Yeah. <laughs>